Aloha and welcome back to the Sin Crew Radio Show, V93FM.com. We hope you're having an incredible day. We're having a lot of fun right here in the Red Light Fever Studios uh, in Tahunga, California, with uh, Uncle uh, Dan Lagronio looking quite... Uh, Quite debonair, actually. He's, uh, there you go again. I, I know, I know. You're always it's, using that term. For it, it, it's yeah. the only thing that comes to mind because you, you, you're in a class of your own, sir. Oh, come on. You know, I knew there was something about you that I liked. Mm -hmm. But, you're, <laughs> but, but you're, you're standing in the corner in the back of the class is what I'm... Is, well, <laughs> that's my favorite the spot. <laughs> Uncle Clinton Lee, Why? our resident foodie, is here. What's up, brother? Clinton. Am I looking debonair, too? Uh, no, you're looking, uh, I, I would say he's looking provincial. Provincial? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. yes. That's a, that's a new word. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> It says that you come from the provinces. That's, that's oh, the real word. Okay. Yes, it, it could be Shanghai. Yeah. It could be, uh, yeah. you know, um, uh, <laughs> uh, Bokoima. <laughs> it could, it could be, <laughs> oh, dear. Um, also, a guest in the studio today is um, uh, photojournalist and filmmaker Catherine Bachneid. Aloha, Catherine. Aloha. Oh, Aloha. Oh, nice to have you with us. We, we truly... And, and thank you for being here. Oh, I'd have been stuck with these two guys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, likewise. <laughs> <laughs> I think the feeling is mutual around the studio here. You bring a ray of sunshine and uh, with your bright smile and a cheery uh, outlook on life. Uh, it kind of uh, all just kind of I just need to put my right? boots on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! You, you, here's something that came up only recently that that uh, gave me pause for cause, and I was at a uh, ho'olaulea uh, recently, and of course, you know, and as w w when there's great weather, um, you know, during that time of the year, many of these uh, outdoor festivities happen, uh, so the ho'olauleas are are plentiful uh, here on the mainland every weekend. And so I was at one and um, there was, uh, you know, of course, there are some concerns um, about things that are happening on Mauna Kea, the Protect Mauna Kea folks um, are very, very sincere and passionate about um, uh, protecting the Aina there. And so uh, there was a halal that was there and they uh, were uh, doing some songs about Mauna Kea. And out came um, the Hawaiian flag that we are familiar with, uh, kind of called the Union Jack uh, or the Hawaiian flag on one side of the stage. And on the other side of the stage was um, this flag that I had seen before but not paid very much attention to. Um, it was... Um, um, it had yellow stripes, it had red stripes, it had a green stripe going across with kind of a shield in the middle, and it was being waved there as part of um, you know, the, uh, the occasion at that particular moment. I, I was interested, in, and, I, and I made a comment to someone standing next to me, and I said, you know, have you seen that flag? And they said, yes, it is the Kanaka Maole flag. And I said, Interesting. I had never seen that Kanaka Maoli flag before. How about you guys, um, Dan? Have you, have you seen it um, in any, any? Uh... No, I, I like you. I was just I'm just familiar with the Union Jack mm -hmm. flag. You know, as representing Hawaii's flag. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd never seen that before. But it kind of resembles <laughs> the Jamaican flag in a way. Does is does it it resemble a, a like a reggae flag? That has been also some comments, Clinton. You you hit that right on the nose there. There there's been comments to say you know it it uh, is that uh, reggae colors or is it a is it a, a Jamaican influence and and so I. I said, you know, I've got to find out about this flag. Catherine, have you, have you seen that flag as well, the Kanaka Maoli flag? Yes, I've seen it in marches many times. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my family goes back several generations, um, living on the island of Oahu, and um, uh, I have a quite large family, and many of them have been involved in various different um, uh, Hawaiian activist um, uh, um Things have been going on, including not only just personally uh, at, at our own land in Waimea and the Brown family from the island of Oahu and the North Shore. We're well known. Um, we were activists there as well. Um, and then um, I, I had commented to a friend of mine that all through this time, I had never seen this Kanaka Maoli flag. 
Um, I had seen the Hawaiian um, uh, flag, the Union Jack. Um, many, many of, of the occasions that, that I've, um, festivities that I've been to, none of these involved the Kanaka Maoli flag. And so, uh, thus I had this question about where did this flag come from? Uh, is it is it really of um, uh, well, what's the origin of, of of that flag? So having said that, having said that, I went um, online and I began to do some research about this Kanaka Maoli flag, and uh, interesting story. Uh, one story says that there in the Honolulu Advertiser in two thousand one. A gentleman named Gene Simeona of Honolulu stated that he resurrected the original Hawaiian green, red, and yellow striped flag that was destroyed by British Navy Captain Lord George Paulette, or maybe it's Paulet, P-A-U-L-E-T, when he seized Hawaii for five months in 1843. And um, Gene Simeona says that this flag is the Kanaka Maoli flag. It is a flag of Kamehameha the first it was created by order of Kamehameha interestingly enough um, many folks have rallied under this flag saying it is the flag of Kamehameha and um, that um, the Hawaiian flag the red white and blue is of western origin it is actually um, um, of British origin it does not have any place um, with the with the the new Hawaiian nation and thus everyone should rally under this Kanaka Maoli flag I didn't stop there because I said, hmm, uh, as a native Hawaiian myself, I've never, ever, ever seen this. Um, what's, what's, what's the dealio about this? Mm -hmm. what, what's the idea? Other pieces of information also surface about um, Kamehameha because in reality, none of the research that I pulled up shows um, this flag being flown on any of Kamehameha's um, references. They have portraits of Kamehameha um, on board ship, on board a, a British uh, vessel, and they are flying, uh, flying uh, the um, uh, uh, signal flags, and which would signal the presence of a Hawaiian monarch on board, but this Kanaka Maoli flag does not um, appear on any of the pictures or any of the paintings. And so uh, this claim that the Union Jack symbolizes British colonialism in Hawaii um, uh, is really inaccurate because Kamehameha actually did join the British Empire voluntarily along with his principal chiefs. In fact, back on February 25th, 1794, Kamehameha did enter into an agreement with British Captain George Vancouver and the agreement provided that the British government would not interfere with the kingdom's religion, the government, or economy. The chief and the priests were to continue as usual, to officiate with the same authority as before in their respective stations. So, uh, historical facts now indicate this, that uh, the Kanaka Maoli flag um, uh, does not have any historical reference. Um, it is of a more um, modern um, uh, origin, and um, today the Kanaka Maoli flag is used as a rally point for many of um, the folks who are um, uh, activists um, for various different causes. And um, I, you know, actually I find no objection to the Kanaka Maoli flag myself, um, other than the fact that let's not make it as a connection with Kamehameha because Kamehameha did not have this flag, historical references indicate. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, many folks are very, very passionate about um, their stand for uh, Hawaiian sovereignty, and uh, many folks are, are very, very passionate about being um, up on uh, uh, Mauna Kea and are rallying under the Kanaka Maoli flag, and I say right on, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Where I draw the line is, that was not Kamehameha's flag, mm -hmm. it is of modern origin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit of some factoids about the Kanaka Maoli flag. Good to know. And uh, it has nothing to do with reggae, although it has a uh, kind of a kind of that flair. I kind of want to. Well, I think pajama. I think maybe if you just glance and look away, that little uh, symbol in the middle looks like some pakalolo leaves. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought it was too. It may. <laughs> but you know, it is a it is a shield. It is um, a paddle. Mm. You know, um, well, a kahili in the middle. It. Is that a kahili? Um, it is, um, and 
the, that's a, you know, the colors have a representation uh, and, and for those folks. So I say more power to folks that uh, rally under the Kanaka Maoli flag. Um, and um, it has uh, been a rallying point in terms of unity and uh, synergy and passion um, about all things that are Pono. And I, and I think that's a beautiful sure. thing. Absolutely. Sure. All righty. Good pieces of information here on V93FM.com, the Savage Islands Network Radio. We take you back to some great music that you can get passionate and rally around. <laughs>